everyone, it's your girl, Shanita Rochelle, the teacher lady, coming to you with another one of my weekly lessons on faith, family, friends, finances, and fun. This week's scripture is Proverbs 10, 4. He who has a slack hand becomes poor, but the hand of the diligent makes rich. The NIV version reads, lazy hands make for poverty, but diligent hands bring wealth. Well, family, since we've been talking about saving our money and watching what we spend, I think it's important that you recognize if you are seeking wealth and riches, you can't be lazy. You must put in some work. Last week, we talked about saving our receipts and identifying our needs versus our wants purchases. Well, how many of you went up to the challenge? Well, if you didn't get started last week, it's okay. You can get started this week. It's never too late to start taking control of your financial situation. I want to share with you my tally sheet from last week. As you take a look at my tally sheet or T-chart, if you will, notice I spent more on wants than on needs. I spent $147.94 on wants and $143.88 on needs. This is partially because I was on the go a lot this week, so I dined out more than usual. I also spent the extra $70 at Big Lots purchasing supplies for my classroom. Well, as you can see, I spent more on my wants than on my needs category. And I try not to go out too much during the week because I always end up spending money. And this week, I spent too much on eating out, which I shouldn't have. Since y'all know I'm on that strict diet, you know, with that GI issue I don't want to talk about. So I had to have a long talk with Shanita about her on-the-go, stress eating, picking up food that she ain't supposed to have. Yes, just like some of you, when I normally go out to eat, sometimes I pick up things I'm not supposed to have. Sometimes I stress eat. So I need to make a better conscious decision about what I'm eating and what I'm buying when I'm out. So I did talk to Shanita, but y'all know I ain't have to talk to Shanita Rochelle because she's the more responsible, dedicated, always do right part of me but that shanita girl on the other hand well let's just say god ain't done with her yet she always need constant redirection and correction and to think about it with that being said i would like to make a public acknowledgement this week in my previous videos i talked to you all about opening your eyes and recognizing the people that may be in our paths all along and we don't see them because we're walking around with our eyes closed. Well, this past week, I had the opportunity to be a part of a virtual conversation regarding kingdom issues. When I was asked to say where I fellowship at, I was taken back a little bit because I don't have a church membership here in South Carolina. But if I was honest, I am not only connected to the actual church I'm a member of, but I'm more connected to a church community back home that feeds me, supports me in every transition of my life, whether it's marriage, divorce, family deaths, career changes, relocation, anything I might encounter, they've been there for me. So I want to make a public apology to my church family, Grace Community Church of Trenton, New Jersey, where Pastor Ethan Evans, First Lady Jennifer, Pastor Nadira Keaton and other Grace members have shown up for my family and I on countless occasions, and they continue to show up. Thank you, Pastor Evans, for all that you do for the people of the city of Trenton. This is an example, family. It's never too late to acknowledge someone and to give thanks for those who support you. Well, that's it for this week's lesson. Have a safe and blessed week. Please don't forget to save those receipts. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a good one this week.